Hi, this is John from Berserker Lures. Today I'm going to be painting an S-type square bill, a 2.5 square bill, and a popper. So I'm going to be doing a simple pattern. I'm going to be painting the bodies all black. I'm going to be putting a wrap on them. And then I'm going to be using a pearlized black and then putting in some kind of eyes and going to see how it turns out. Never did it, thought it hit me. So I'm gonna try it out, black on black. All right, so now I'm getting ready to put this wrap here on this S-type lure. And with the S-type, you have a gap to where you can Pull it tight and what I like to do is try to make sure that this is straight as possible in line with this because if you do it like this you know it's gonna have like a little funky look and to this eyelet hole here so now this is hold really well all right so now I got everything all wrapped up I'm gonna be doing pearlized black on some and then i'm gonna try this color shifting paint on some as well um with this it comes out so thick you got to reduce it down for it to shoot out of your airbrush so i want you guys to see what this looks like um it works really good i've seen people use um, some really expensive stuff. You can just go to Walmart and you can buy this for $5 and save yourself some headaches and some money in your wallet. Um, to warn you though, this stuff is not waterproof. So you have to put a good hard coating on your lures. If you don't, it will wash off. So with me, I use KBS diamond clear coat, or I use a rust oleum automotive crystal clear spray can and I do two layers of that um so you put one on with the here, let me get it real quick so with this this is one of the ones I use so with this you want to use you want to spray it on let it sit for 15 minutes and then you put it on again and then you want to let it sit for around 24 to 48 hours and uh, you're good to go. Um, so the KBS, I like to dip it, let it sit overnight or 12 hours or if till it's hard and then I dip it again, do two dips and then I let it chill for a couple days and then I come back and I cut the eyelets out and everything. So that's how I do it but always remember Folk art stuff gives you some cool looking options and it's cheaper, but it's not waterproof. All right. All right. So with this here, I have the pearlized black in it for this one. I'm going to go roughly about to the, just before it wraps over onto its belly. I'm going for a scale pattern, basically. Holding it at an angle. All right, here I'm getting ready to do the folk art color shifter. I'll show you how to do that. Put some in here. Probably overdid it, but. So this I have mixed in with my reducer in a smaller one. So I'm gonna throw in a couple drops and I'll show you what kind of texture I'm looking for. So I'm gonna mix it in. See, this is still thick. See how it's not runny, really? So let's put some more reducer in it. See how quick that rolled down there? It's it's nice and watered down. So I'm gonna put this in the airbrush 
have the folk art color shifter in my hopper here. Let's do it. Ooh. All right, here we go. I have uh, pearlized copper now, and and I'm going to be spraying the top part, and I'm going to be going about halfway, roughly, but I may not. I may just kind of just wing it, see what happens. But when what I'm doing here is I'm not doing a actual code. Of the pearlized copper i'm going to be holding my airbrush a significant amount of way so normally i'll airbrush about like this right here so i'm planning on going like way out here like this to put just a, a mist of this copper on it so this way it'll give it a nice golden look with the dark features that i'm trying to give it as well so let's see if I can do it. So I'll just show you here. So you got it right there like that. So you wanna be far away like that. I'm just throwing a little bit on to break it up. And when you dip it, the black itself will come through. So don't be afraid that you might have messed up. And if you do, if it's not what you're looking for, you can always come back and throw a little more black on it to uh, help re-darken it up. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one without the pearl copper on it. So this way I can show you what it looks like with the copper and without the copper. Okay, I'm gonna start peeling these wraps off to let you see what they look like. So this one here, I did the pearlized black. I probably should have did a pearlized silver on this one. I think if I did the pearlized silver on this one, it would have given it a more of a significant look. So now I'm just fishing with a black lure now. So we're all learning here. This is a learning curve for me. So now I know. When I do an all black, I'm going to do a pearlized silver and the black will show through. So I'm going to redo this one with pearlized silver. And here's the purple. Now it went from a blue and purple shift to just purple. Ooh, that one's really stuck. Okay. All right, I got pearlized silver now in this hopper. Let's see what it does now. I'm gonna put it on hot and heavy for the most part. Oh yeah, it's starting to give you a significant difference now. I might come back with some detail black just to darken this up. I'm using uh, detailed smoke black. Yeah, I feel good with that. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna peel the wrap off. We're gonna look at it together at the same time. It's 
definitely looks a lot better. All right, guys, I got the eyes on. I found a set of eyes that match this purple. I decided to go with a red with this one. Same with this. Here's the silver. And then I added some touches to this one for my girl. Put a little bit of blue on it, color shift with the purple. Completely different color. So I added this one to it. So just the sides. Comparisons. But we're all learning here and trial and error is teaching you and we're both growing together. All right, I'm gonna do the dip and then I'll do a follow up when all these are done. Here's the one with the copper overlay on it. Here's the straight up silver one that we redid after that learning mistake. It's not too bad. I honestly personally think the eye is what makes it so. Might as well show you them all. I also blowed um, deep red in its mouth. I put a little more in it to allow it to blow in here to make it more of a gill. So. All right, so here's the color shift one. You can see it color shifting. See, it's got a little bit of the blue there on the body. It's pretty little lower, actually. With the eyeballs on it, matching set. I'm happy with the way this turned out. It's not a bad looking lure if I don't say so myself. It's got a nice look. Probably will be doing some more of these. So here's the wrap up to my video. I just wanted to tell you all, I appreciate you for sticking around and watching it with me and learning through my learning curves as we do this. If we ain't learning, we ain't living. So thank you, I appreciate you. And keep on ripping those lips, y'all. Um, so I wanna try to see if I can put a kind of a black holographic look into it. What the hell am I saying, man? <laughs> when we're putting a holographic No, nah, we were just talking about that. So anyways, 